we're going to have a look at how you change map scales into map ratios. Now at the moment these are all map scales. This tells me that one centimetre on my map relates to four kilometres in real life. This tells us that one centimetre on my map is 300 metres in real life. And this tells me that two centimetres on the map is 400 kilometres in real life. Now ratios don't have units in them. So in order to change these into ratios we've got to get rid of the units. Now we can't just write this as 1 to 4 because it's 1 centimetre and 4 kilometres. They're two different measurements. So the first thing we do is change them all to the same measurement. So to do that I need my metric conversions. So I should know that 1 kilometre is 1,000 metres. To get from kilometres to metres, so to get from 1 to 1,000, I need to times by 1,000 my conversion there. And then we also know that one meter is a hundred centimeters. Now to get from one to a hundred, we times by a hundred. So now I can change four kilometers into centimeters. So four kilometers, Well, kilometres to metres is times by a thousand, so it's going to be 4,000 metres. And then metres to centimetres is times by a hundred, so that's going to be 400,000 centimetres. Now they're both using the same measurement, I can just write that as 1 to 400,000. So 1 centimetre on the map is 400,000 centimetres in real life. The second part is exactly the same. So 300 metres needs to be changed into centimetres. Well, to get from metres to centimetres, we times by 100. So that gives us 30,000 centimetres. So my ratio is going to be 1 to 30,000. So one centimetre on the map is 30,000 centimetres in real life. And the last one. So I'm going to change 400 kilometres into centimetres. Now if you have a look, we can compare what we've done up here and realise that this is just 100 times as big. It's got two extra zeros on the end. So my answer for centimetres is going to be, again, 100 times as big. So we can take our... 400,000 that we got for this bit here and times that by 100. Now that's 40 million centimetres. So we know that 2 centimetres on the map is 40 million centimetres in real life. So this would be um, quite a small scale map. It would show a lot of information. We're not quite finished though, because really, if we can, we want to try and get it in the simplest form. So to simplify that, we can divide both sides of this ratio by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is 1. 40 million divided by 2 is 20 million. So my final ratio is 1 to 20 million. So 1 centimetre in real life would be 20 million centimetres in reality or 200 kilometres, which sounds more sensible. Now of the maps, we can compare them now. This one is going to be the most zoomed in version, because one centimetre is only 30,000 centimetres. This is going to be the next closest one, and this is going to be the map from furthest away, so this is going to show the largest area on it. And you can use these scales now to compare whether your map's a zoomed in version of a local area, or a zoomed out version of um, a city or a country or even further out. So that's why these map scales, sorry, the map ratios are used because you can easily compare between different maps to see which is more accurate, which is more zoomed in.